Um, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Adam from Innsbruck. Um, I I think um, all you guys know about uh, UBB already. So uh, next step, uh, I, I'm going to uh, show you how our sit, uh, our reference system will make. So um, uh, Innsbruck and Hive ZG will uh, show the uh, uh, reference system uh, for you guys. Uh, for the Inspire, we are doing the 29-inch uh, 3 OU, and the Hive uh, is the 90-inch 6 RU, and the ZT1 is the 90-inch 4 RU1. And this is the, just the reference system. Uh, it's not uh, going to say which one is good, which one is bad. So just for reference. And first, uh, the Inspire one. And this is uh, the agenda I'm going to show you. Uh, you will see the uh, system feature, system architecture, polyester, and the uh, PDB host interface, thermal simulation, the power simulation, and also uh, uh, the simple schedule. Uh, uh, we have a, a, a double E and SI and mechanical engineer here, and also we have a team here. So if you want to know more detail, uh, you can go to them. Just raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. And this is the system spec that we have. And we are doing the uh, PCI Dream for support. And also, just uh, just like Richard said, we support uh, 54 volt and 12 volt uh, OM support. And also, you can see that we have we are, we are have a, a, a debug management in the form of the chassis by the mini USB. And we also we are, we are using currently we are uh, using the uh, microchip uh, uh, PCI switch to to support low power and the uh, uh, free mode. So uh, it's uh, very useful for the multi multiple host. And here's the uh, system overview. And I think you know about the UBB already, so I'm not going to uh, the detail here. And the uh, system overview. And this is uh, for the uh, I/O module serviability. Uh, uh, we are we are going to make some uh, optimize. So, uh, but the main purpose is uh, to let uh, the user to more easier to maintain the I/O and the uh, host uh, connection. And this is the dimension you just see that. And we are using the uh, two uh, bows uh, to provide the UBB power and the host interface under the PTB bow. Okay, this is the host interface bow. And we are reserved uh, by 64 uh, lanes to uh, host. It. So uh, if you are using uh, the uh, one host, uh, you can use it by uh, 16 or by 32 lanes to connect to this host interface board. Or you can use a two uh, host, maybe uh, two or four, to uh, connect it to this board. Uh, but um, the multiple host function is still under discussion. So, but um, the uh, current uh, PCI switch uh, function already support multiple <coughs> hosts. And the uh, from IO board is for for uh, debug. Uh, we we have uh, reserved the management port uh, to connect to the host interface. Because we have the uh, BMC in this board, so uh, we can use uh, the I/O here to uh, do the debug and management. And this is the uh, power topology, and we already showed the details, so I'm gonna 
I, I, I will not to, uh, go through the detail here. Okay, this is the uh, this is a topology with the uh, PCIe. So you can see that we reserve the uh, uh, retimer here to uh, secure the uh, the PCI single PC, PCI or the host interface single, and also reserve the uh, file to in the uh, extension pole. And also you can see that uh, we have a uh, four uh, PCI slot. Uh, in each uh, PCI switch, you can put uh, in uh, like a network card or the uh, uh, PCI in PCI uh, NVMe PCI card. And this is what we propose to uh, like a uh, o uh, OCP. Like a V3 version, because uh, the uh, the V2 version had uh, 30, uh, 33k watt, so it, it can uh, deployment deployment and full uh, UBB system with a uh, hand nodes. And the uh, thermal so simula so simulation is based on the uh, 450 watts, and currently um, we are doing our own uh, uh, OAM heating. So uh, because we are still uh, considering to uh, do more uh, optimization for the system, so it might be uh, three OU or four OU for next model version. Okay, here's the uh, uh, thermal result. And since we are supporting uh, 12 volt and 54 volt, so uh, the uh, PIV result looks good. And this is a uh, 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 connection way we are doing. And for the head now, we 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 are. Uh, making a retimer in the uh, 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 host, but um, we, we are thinking about to uh, using more generic interface like a Minisus HD. So this is just a current version and how we uh, connect host to our UBB system. <coughs> okay, this is the new uh, cubic for the host for the hand now. Okay, so uh, we have an engineer here, so if you want to know more detail, just come to me. Yeah, thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Yang, the um, technical program manager from Hive Design Solutions located in Taiwan. I'm going to introduce our OEM reference system to you. Okay, this is the, the system online that uh, today's agenda you will see the system feature list, architecture, board list power distribution and the host connectivity and thermos. Uh, this is our uh, system feature list. Uh, our system is a 19-inch red mountable form factor, total 6RU, 
and the system depth is in 30 inch, which is 762 millimeters. There are five boards in our system. They are the universal baseball, host interface board, middle plan, and TPTB tab and button. Uh, our UVB OAM interconnection topology is the Kamai FC with the uh, six pore HCM topology. Uh, host can be up to four PCIe by sixteen slots, and the PCIe expansion up to twelve slots. And BMC uh, on the HI host interface for ST two by twenty with the one gigabit RJ forty five supports IPMI two thousand zero. And cooling we uh, we have the. 80 by 80 millimeter dual rotor fans support up to 8 OAMs to the uh, 450 watts at uh, 35 degrees C. And the power delivery is we have, we, we use the uh, two bus bar clips to deliver the red 54 volt uh, from red bus bar. This is our certain ISO view. Um, this is the front and this is the real. Airflow direction is from front to real, and the top tray here is the UVB tray. Bottom tray here is the host interface board tray. Uh, this is the middle plan, and then followed by the uh, PDB here, here, then the system fan is in the back. This is the online dimension, so you can see that uh, the UVB is in 4RU and host interface board is in 2RU. Uh, the total system length here, 30 inch, does not include the real system fans. This is the uh, front view. Um, you see the upstream 0, 1, 2, 3, those four slots are for the PCIe uh, input from host. And the rest of those slots are for the I.O. expansions. This is the real view. Uh, you can see that we have two 54 volt bus bar clips here and the eight fans. Uh, this is the system explore view that um, the outer here is the support ship and uh, both UVB and HIV tray can be pulled out uh, to LSD. And there's also an inner rail here attached to the uh, UVB tray to easy the operation for serviceability. The green part here is the PCIe retention cover to retain those 16 PCIe cars to secure the cars here. And the uh, uh, top surface here, which is in transparent uh, here right now, that those are top covers. The front co top cover here, that is not removable. And the real top cover is removable design for the serviceability of middle plane and the PDBs. So the, another explore, you can see everything outside of the chassis and two top covers here. This one is actually non-removable. This is the UVB. Um, it, it will be compliant with the uh, UVB spec already. And um, in our first design, we do only design for PCIe Gen 3. So the retimers here are not populated. And we will revise our uh, solution to PCIe Gen 4 in our next release. So we will definitely put retimers here. This is the host interface board. You can see there are uh, five, uh, four PCIe switches here and also the uh, 16 PCIe connectors here. The BMC is also in this board. This is the middle plan board. The component side, you can see that there are actually high speed signals and the power signals, the power connectors and the guide, mechanical guide pins for the connection to the UBB and the HIV. And the solder side, mostly they are the power connectors and signal connectors for the connection between the middle plan and the PDBs. This is top PDB and this is the bottom PDBs. Um, this page shows you that uh, we have uh, five sheet metal brackets here, one, two, three, four, five, two, are actually in the back to uh, assemble the top PDB and bottom PDBs together. And there are bus bars to deliver 54 volt between these volts. And then this side view shows you the power clips. This is the power delivery diagram. Um, the 54 volt input from red bus bar to the top PDBs. 
and then top PDB deliver power to the bottom PDBs through the PDB bus bus. The reason that we separate PDB to two pieces is because that the, the board real estate is not enough to put, to put such many components. So that's why we separate the board to two pieces. And then um, on the top PDB, there are VRs here, then we then uh, transfer the, the turbo board to host interface board. And then fan is directly, uh, directly attached to the top PDB uh, using the 54 volt supply. And the bottom PDB, to, that's to supply the a voltage, 54 volt and 12 volt to the OAMs on the UBB. This page shows the uh, uh, cabling between the middle plane and PDBs. You can see that they are the, the power cables and also the signal cables and fan cables. Okay, let's, let's talk about the host connectivity. So there are two topologies here. One is the uh, four PCIe by 16 input from host to the OAI system. And the other is just two uh, by PCIe by 16 input from host. This is the diagram for the, P the PCIe top topology one. You see that uh, there are actually four retimer cards on the host motherboard and also uh, four uh, bridge board on the host the interface board of the UVB of the uh, OAI. And then they are connected together using the mini SAS HD to the mini SAS HD cables. And then PCIe signals down through to the uh, OAM on the UVB. In the topology too, that we use the PCIe interconnection cable to link the switch, two switches together and with only two host multiple PCIe by 16 input. And this topology will be used for our power on uh, in the coming November. Okay, next talk about the thermals. So this is our thermal modeling, and there is an air duct for the OEM cooling because our system is a for you, uh, for you high in UVB, so we need that to avoid the air bypass. This is the thermal simulation result. Total is. Um, 4,300 watt simulated and all the worst case components can meet the requirement. So um, this is the call to action. That's it about the presentation. So if you have any questions, welcome to raise or to tell us uh, in the uh, OAI mail list. Thank you. Uh, Mark Chubb, uh, I'm from uh, ZT Systems, and I um, want to talk to you today about our uh, OAI reference system that we've uh, done in partnership with uh, Inventec. So, uh, so the agenda is uh, we'll go over the system features, um, we'll do a, a mechanical overview, uh, talk about the system architecture, we'll go over the board list, uh, talk about the power distribution, and, and a little bit on thermals. Uh, so the system features, um, so this is a, uh, uh, the chassis dimension here, so um, it is a, um, a, it's a 4RU uh, a tall uh, system, uh, 880 millimeters in length and uh, 435 millimeters in width, fits in a 19 inch rack. Um, so this is, is just a, uh, um, a, a JBOG, the, uh, the, ex the head node uh, or the host is external to the system, so it needs to be connected through cables. Uh, supports eight OEM modules um, in an eight-port hypercube mesh configuration, um, and the uh, host interface board to universal baseboard is a coplanar connectivity, so they're on the same plane, connecting together. Uh, the host interface board has uh, three um, PCIe uh, Gen 4 96-lane switches. Um, and then uh, the host interface board also supports uh, four uh, PCIe Gen 4 expansion slots as well as um, uh, up to four um, two and a half inch NVMe SSDs. Um, 
So the power for this is a uh, um, three kilowatt platinum uh, 54 volt power supplies. So we have four of those in a two plus two redundancy configuration. Uh, the system management is kind of a common theme here you've seen. So it's an AST uh, 2520 as well. Uh, and the system fans, we're also using the 80 by 80 54 volt uh, uh, system fans. Um, and then various uh, front and rear uh, IO ports. Uh, so this is the, the, the view, ISO view of the system here. So um, you can see this is, uh, so it's a 4U system. So in the, in the, basically in the upper U, you've got the OAM uh, plugged into the UBB. And then on the same plane, you have the switchboard. Um, I think, let's see, the next picture may be, yeah, so this is a, the profile. I think this is probably on the bottom there. It's a little easier to see. So you can see how the, uh, the, um, uh, the OAMs are sitting on top here of the UBB, and the uh, host interface board is, is sort of in the back, and it, uh, they plug in together there. Um, the um, uh, UBB sits on a, on a drawer here that can slide out and slide back in for easy serviceability. Uh, and then in the lower 1U, you'll see the, uh, the power supplies, the profile of the power supplies plugging into a, a power distribution board there. And then everything gets, uh, all the power cables come up around and plug in. Uh, and then the fans are, are there in the rear. Or actually in uh, middle, just before you get to the rear there. You can see them in the top picture. Uh, so this is the, f the front uh, view. So we have a front I.O. module option. So there's you know, different module options that can be plugged in there. Uh, and then you have the eight uh, QSFP DD ports, which are for the uh, external expansion. Um, so if you want to you know, add another, um, uh, you know, another uh, system with, uh, with eight more OA OAMs, um, then uh, you, can, you can do that. Um, the other thing is this is used for um, getting the full uh, eight port hypercube mesh connectivity by cabling these, uh, um, these ports in the rear here. And I'll show that in a minute. Uh, this is the rear view. So um, you'll see here we've got the, um, on top we've got the four uh, PCIe expansion slots here. Uh, and then the four um, NVMe hot swap drives that are there. Um, you'll also see, um, so you get the four power supplies across the bottom. And then the, uh, we have mini SAS HD connectors that are, that are here um, that uh, basically uh, by 16 on each of the ports there. And that's for supporting um, multi-host uh, configuration. Uh, and, then, and then just various um, buttons and LEDs indicators. Uh, so this is showing the, the UBB tray, as I mentioned. Um, so this uh, uh, has latches that, that unhinge and cam out the drawer so you can pull the drawer out for easy access to the OEMs uh, and all the components. Um, you know, at this time, this drawer is, is um, sort of proprietary to this chassis, but I, that the plan is to sort of come together with the other um, companies and design a more common uh, UBB tray. So uh, that's sort of the next, next step. Um, this is an exploded view here. Um, so you can see we kind of covered all of these, these areas, but I'll just, you can just see that the, see what the tray looks, UBB tray looks like, and then the UBB with the eight uh, OAMs on it. Um, the, uh, and then those uh, slide right into the, uh, the chassis base with the four power supplies on the bottom, plugging into the PDB there. You have a fan board that sits um, you know, just above the host interface board where the fans uh, um, plug down into. Uh, the host interface board is there. Uh, you've got your uh, PCI cards and then your, your NVMe drives that plug in there. Um, uh, so this is the, the, uh, the eight port hypercube mesh topology. So Whitney had uh, talked about this one earlier. Um, so this is, uh, the, the ports that are used here are actually by eight. Um, so we are, even though the, the, the ports are, um, uh, on the OAMs are, are uh, by 16 ports, we're uh, splitting them down into by eight so that we can get this uh, eight port um, hypercube mesh connectivity. Um, so you'll notice that the uh, port one in this is actually using uh, a, an, a high and a low. So we're using the, the, the lower, um, eight lanes and the upper eight lanes to represent uh, two different ports. So um, whereas the other ports two through seven are, are just by eight. So that's how we get the full connectivity. 
And then you'll notice that uh, on, the, on the bottom part here, um, in order to get that full connectivity, we actually have to use uh, external cables to connect uh, OEMs 1 and 5 and 2 and 6. So that's how we're getting that there. Uh, this is just another picture of that, uh, another representation showing the details of the connectivity. So it shows you the port-to-port -port mapping uh, over here on the right. Um, and as I mentioned, um, you know, we're the, you know, this is a, this is a, um, using eight lanes for each port and uh, port one is broken and is bifurcated into two by eights. Um, and then we covered this part here where the, uh, the uh, uh, ports uh, four and six on these OAMs can be used to uh, support a full uh, eight port HCM. And then also um, these ports can also be used for external expansion. So again, if we want to go to another, uh, another box that has eight OAMs, we can get 16 total. So this is the system block diagram here. So um, if we start at the uh, at the external host, um, so we cable up to the uh, uh, you know the uh, mini SAS HD connectors here, and as I mentioned, we have um, uh, two by sixteen inputs that can come from uh, two different hosts or or just a single host. Uh, it goes up to the ninety six uh, lane PCI uh, Gen four switch here, which um, supports two of the by sixteen slots. Then it also feeds the uh, um, uh, uh, two downstream 96 lane switches, which feed another pair of, um, or each one feeds a, a, another PCI 16 slot. And then each of those give you the eight uh, by 16 lanes to so feed each of the um, OAM um, accelerators. Um, over on the, uh, the far right, that is the, the um, uh, management uh, uh, connectivity is um, so you could sort of envision this as kind of an SCM. Now, in this implementation of the reference design, we we didn't do an SCM, reg regrettably, uh, CMAC. <laughs> um, but uh, but we 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 I think you know for the next uh, generation we, we can basically just kind of take that and box it and put it on a on a separate module, right? And and use that so we can sort of maintain the modularity. Um, so let's see anything else in here. That's it. Uh, so this is just a list of the boards. Uh, so universal base board, um, you know, the dimensions are there. It's 22 layers, uh, hyper low loss. So um, uh, really, really trying to um, get everything we can out of that insertion loss budget, right? So, um, so we had to go down to uh, hyper low loss. Um, the uh, host interface board, uh, so that's a 16 layer. That was uh, ultra low loss. Uh, and then the, for the fan board, that's just standard FR4, and the PDB is standard FR4. So, uh, so this is the universal base board. I think you guys have seen a lot of those pictures. Um, this is the the host interface board that uh, that we have. Um, so again, the, the the fabric that we're using here is PCIe Gen 4. Um, so we have the three switches as we showed in the in the block diagram. So this this uh, the the block diagram you saw earlier is fairly you know, representative of the, of the placement of all of these items here. So you've got the, the two uh, uh, host um, interface connectors, uh, mini SAS HD connectors coming up to the first switch. And then you've got the other two switches downstream and then the four PCI slots on the sides. Um, and then going up to the, uh, the, the row of uh, X and Max connectors there to the uh, uh, UBB. This is the fan board. So this is the board that fits, sits uh, right above the host interface board, uh, and it's connected. Um, we have power coming in from the PDB as well as the uh, the uh, fan control uh, coming in from the um, uh, the BMC of the uh, on the um, uh, host interface board. Um, so currently, we we just have the uh, uh, an I2C uh, bus coming up to this, and we have uh, fan controllers on the fan board itself to control it locally. So. We could have done a, you know, a fan control from the BMC, but that would have required more pins uh, on the on the connectors there. So this, uh, I think this this uh, makes it a little more modular by uh, just having the the you know, I2C in a very small connector. Uh, so this is the PDB. Um, so as you can see, we've got the four um, um, 54 volt, three kilowatt um, power supplies coming in, uh, plugging in there. Uh, and then the various connectors to, to the different boards. So this board, pretty much all the power comes in here and, and goes out. I'll show in a second. We have a block diagram that, yeah. So 
So this is the flow here. I think you've seen it uh, um, in other slides, but uh, uh, just wanted to point out, we went ahead and put some of the, the currents uh, on here as well, so you can kind of see the, the, the current density going through each of the paths. So it's, a, I mean, this is a lot of, a lot of power uh, in this system. So up to, you know, the total system is probably around uh, 4.5 to 5 kilowatts, so that's a lot. Uh, and then just a couple slides on the thermal design. So, um, so this is, you know, you can see here, this is the, uh, you know, the front is, is, um, is that orientation, even the airflow that's, that's blowing into the rear. Um, you know, we've got the, the five uh, 80 by 80 millimeter fans um, with the eight OEM modules. Um, yeah, so, so uh, you know, very challenging because everything is on the same plane. So you've got the, the, uh, uh, the OEM modules, um, down, and downstream of that, you have our host interface board. So there's a lot of preheat that's coming onto the host interface board. And those uh, um, 96 lane PCI switches can get really hot. So, um, so there's a lot, of, uh, um, a lot of work we're doing on ducting and, and uh, you know, managing the airflow. Um, so here's the, uh, 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 the flow therm mop pictures here that you can see the, uh, on the simulation. Uh, so the system airflow is about 477 uh, CFM. Um, you know, the, the, you can see on the table in the lower right there that the, the HBM is kind of the, the one that's um, marginal. Um, so we have some work to do there to, to try to direct more airflow on that. Um, everything else seems to be within the spec, um, although we still need to run, uh, simulate up to 450 TDP, and we also need to simulate fan fail conditions. So this is with no fan fail. So again, we have some work to do to, to on the thermals. Uh, and then, you know, just call to action is, uh, and, and hopefully many of you, since you're here, I'm assuming you've been over to the OAI experience uh, booth over there and checked out these systems firsthand. Um, so, uh, you know, please, if you haven't, please go check that out. And then, you know, if you have any questions, just let us know. All right, thank you. Any questions? All right, thank you.